Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. In today's video, we're looking at rare silver peace dollar coins that are worth money. We're gonna be looking at what makes these coins valuable, what dates to look for, ones that sold for hundreds of dollars, all the way up to one that sold for over $100,000. Don't forget guys, if you wanna enter the monthly giveaway, all you guys gotta do is go to couchcollectibles.com. We have a $5 off the entire store coupon code. Use five off at checkout. If you guys purchase any product, you are also entered for the monthly giveaway. We're doing last month's monthly giveaway very soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's just hop into it. Check out these rare piece dollar coins that are worth money. All right, so first up here, we have a 1928 silver piece dollar coin. Now this has not got a mint stated high grade, but it is graded at about uncirculated 58. So uh, just under the mint state grade, mint state grades go from 60 to 70. This one's at a 58. So still a pretty good grade, but this coin here sold for over $375. Now if this coin had a higher grade, it would sell for a lot more money. Now if we go over here and check out the mintages of the piece dollars, what's interesting about them is they only made them from 1921 to 1928, and then they stopped producing them for five years, and they began reproducing them from 1934 to 1935. So they didn't produce these that long. There wasn't too many of them actually made, especially for some of the years, you only have a little over a million of them minted. But if we look at the 1928 that sold for over $375 at a lower grade and not a mint state grade, that is because it's an extremely low mintage. You can see that they only produced 360,000 of those 1928s, no mint mark. So always be on the lookout for those low mintage coins. And just to show you an example of a high graded 1928 piece dollar coin, this one here is graded at a mint state 66, and this one sold for over $48,000. So you go from $375 to over $48,000 just because of the grade. Next up is a 1921 piece dollar coin. Now this one has what is called a high relief and that takes place on the reverse of the coin. It also is a high graded coin, so that gives it a lot of value as well. And then in 1921, they only produced a little over a million of these coins. So here's an example of the high relief versus low relief. You guys can pause the video if you guys wanna look at the differences between each one. So that picture shows you high relief versus low relief. Now this coin here sold for over $111,000. $111,000. That is crazy, a $100,000 coin. Next up is an interesting coin. Now this one actually does not have a date because there's an error taking place on it where the date would be at the bottom of the coin there. Now you can see that there on the obverse, the front of the coin, and what's taking place here is that the coin has been double struck and the second strike is 80% off center. Now we can also see that as well taking place on the reverse of the coin, and that's what's gonna give the coin some value. Now this coin is also graded at a mint state 62, and it's sold for over $9,700. Moving right along to a 1934, now this is graded at about uncirculated 58, so this one is in a high grade, mint stated grade coin. However, still a pretty good grade. The 1934S, they only made a little over 1 million of these coins as well. And this coin here sold for over $1,800. Again, if it had a higher grade, it would probably sell for more money. And if it had a lower grade, of course, it would not sell for $1,800. It would sell for less money. Next up is a 1927S. What's awesome about these coins is they only made 866,000 of these coins. So that's pretty sweet. It also does have a high grade as well, which will give it a lot of value, of course and that low mintage. Now, this coin here sold for over $48,000, just like that other coin. So that is unbelievable, $48,000. If you guys ever come across coin collections and people are selling them, 
Watch out for the fake peace dollars. There's a lot of fakes out there, fake Morgan dollars, all that good stuff. So always be on the watch out for that. Now I'm gonna show you guys a low, low crate. It's graded at an extra fine 40. So not a high grade at all. And I'm gonna show you the difference of pricing. This one here is a 1927D. They made just over 1.2 million of these coins. However, because it's got that low grade though, it's not too sought after, not valuable at all. It only sold for $20. So nothing crazy for that coin. And then if we check out this 1925 coin, they actually made over 10 million of this particular coin. However, it's graded at a mint state 68, so nearly a perfect grade. Again, finding one of these is like a needle in a haystack and a grade of that caliber. Now, this coin here sold for over $89,000. $89,000. All right, guys, until tomorrow, I'll see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.